It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview Eric Heg- Hellwing who has the podcast Bring It In, Bringing In the Backups Sports Podcast. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Brandon? I'm doing good. Can you talk good, about good. how you knew you wanted to start a sports podcast? Yeah, of course. So uh, when the pandemic hit, uh, like all comics, I was losing my mind and had nothing to do. And I was like, I think I want to start a podcast. And Uh, I got some advice from a friend being like, what's the thing that you do in your spare time? And at that moment, I was watching, uh, I was watching a YouTube video of Tony Banks, an old quarterback from the nineties throwing interceptions. And I was like, oh yeah, that's what I do is I, I look up old football players, quarterbacks and like learn about their careers. I just find that fun. And so I was like, oh, I do a podcast. I like Google research. Does anybody have a podcast about backup quarterbacks? And nobody did. And uh, yeah, that's how it started. And um, I just I just recorded my sixth episode uh, tonight, actually. So that'll be coming up in a little bit. And yeah, I'm just I'm getting into it, and it's it's fun. That's wonderful. How did you come up with the name "Bringing in the Backups"? What did I do? I think I just Googled like backup quarterback podcast and found a name that didn't exist. And I thought "Bringing the Backups" had a nice little ring to it i also think there's like some there's something i think that people relate to with the idea of like when a backup goes into a game that's like a situation we all have in our lives where we get a moment that we weren't maybe necessarily ready for but it presents itself to us so i think bringing the backups is a universal thing that can apply to people that maybe aren't even sports fans can you talk about what do you cover in your podcast yes i uh i'll talk about a quarterback i'll usually kind of make up facts about their life because I haven't done too much research and then halfway through I'll Wikipedia it and realize I'm saying the wrong thing apologize to my guest and then that's usually it it's just me saying things that aren't factual or true trying to be funny talking about people talking about quarterbacks that people vaguely remember from 20 years ago that's the average show have you interviewed anybody on your podcast I have. Uh, I've had uh, uh, all comedian friends of mine who are equally unsuccessful. Uh, Every time I do a podcast, I always reach out to the quarterback that I'm doing. So like for the first episode, I had Coy Detmer. So I found his wife on Instagram. I was like, can you tell Coy that I'm doing a podcast? I'd love to have him on. And uh, nobody ever writes back. And then I get kind of angry towards them. And then I just invite my idiot friends on the show. And then they, we talk about the quarterback. So, so far I've had, uh, I've had my friend Ray Easter. I've had Alex Getlin did my last episode. Those are both comics in LA. My friend Rob Stern, who's a comic in New York that I've known for a long time. And then the first episode, I just had my wife on because she was in the living room where I was recording. And I was like, I have two microphones, just come over here. And so if you listen to the first episode of the podcast with my wife, you can tell she's almost annoyed that she's even on the podcast to begin with so it's a shorter episode can you talk about some of the people that you've talked about in your podcast as backup quarterbacks oh brandon get ready for the list we got all the big ones coy detmer charlie batch uh we did cleo lemon sage rosenfels And uh, the last episode that's going to be coming out, I mean, maybe by the time this comes out, uh, it'll already be up, but we're going to be doing um, Kelly Holcomb, who was uh, played in the Browns playoff game in 2002 against the Steelers. Have you talked about a lot of Steelers backup quarterbacks? So far, we've done Charlie Batch. And then on this last episode, I ended up talking a lot about Tommy Maddox. Um, who was the guy from the XFL that came back. Um, Although the the episode wasn't about him, so I only just kind of talked about Tommy Maddox. But 
I'm, a, I'm assuming eventually I'll get to him. I always liked Cordell Stewart a lot, so he'll probably make it on. Um, there's a, I don't know if you know this guy, Dennis Dixon, who was a backup for the Steelers. Mm-hmm. But he was one of I, – I loved him at Oregon. So he'll – the thing is, is, like, what I'm trying to do with the show is get, like, a player from every team so I can get, like, a Seahawks player, a Browns player. So I don't want to do, like, too many Steelers all at once. I'm trying to broaden the horizons for the show. But I've already got – I've got plenty of Steelers that I want to revisit. Have you covered um, Teddy Bridgewater whenever he was with the Saints as a backup? Uh no, because he's still playing. I usually try to get players that are retired. I don't know. I think Teddy Bridgewater is pretty good. So I don't know if he's going to qualify as a backup by the time his career is done. He might end up starting more than he backs up. Is, what are, are, you, some... are, are, you, are you a big Teddy Bridgewater fan? Yes, I am. Yeah, he's awesome. I love, I love Teddy. What are some different segments that you have on your podcast, The Backup Quarterback? Um, I have no segments on the show. I just talk and then like, I will have pre-recorded bits. Usually I forget to play them until the very end. I get mad at myself. I say a couple curse words and then I play them in succession before saying that's the end of the show. So I do have bits, but I want to stress to anybody that happens upon my podcast from watching this, nothing is planned and it's very poorly run. What have you learned that you did not know before you started the bring in the backups? Uh, I've learned that a lot of ex football players uh, go into real estate after they're done playing football. And I've learned, what have I learned? I've learned I have a pretty good radio voice. I've learned that uh, I should try not to interrupt people as much as I do. I think if you, I mean, you probably know this from doing your show. It's the art of having a conversation and a little give and take. That's, that's something that you get better at the more you do it. So hopefully, hopefully I'm learning that, but mostly I'm learning inane facts about quarterbacks that have no use in my life at all. As soon as I'm done recording a podcast. Who are some of the people that you are going to cover in your next few episodes? I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, I think what I'd like to do is I get feedback from people. So I'll put out a show and they'll go, oh, you should do this guy. Like kind of how you said Teddy Bridgewater. So the more people that listen and throw me suggestions right now, the show is new enough to where I'm still taking requests. So if you've got a listener right now out there, that's like, oh, you got to do this guy. The best thing you can do, listen to my show, go to my website, erichelog.com, drop in your favorite character right there or your favorite quarterback. And if he qualifies as a backup, he'll be on the next episode. That's how I decide. Do you cover any other players besides quarterbacks? Right now, no. But if the show gets popular, I'm going to run out of quarterbacks. So eventually, yeah, I (laughs) I might have to. But for now, it's just quarterbacks. Uh, I mean, obviously, like once I'm talking about a quarterback like if there's a really interesting player that was a wide receiver on the team I'll talk about them too on the episode but as far as featuring it's a quarterback to start and then I kind of like just like branch off from whoever that quarterback touched during his playing career I'll talk about those players too so for example you go from quarterback to like running back and then wide receiver right yes that's a exactly just like that What advice would you give upcoming future sports talk podcasts that are looking to get started like you? What, what advice would I give them? I would say, follow your dreams. I would say you got it in you. Do what, do what me and Brandon are doing. Life is short. Uh, I would tell them to buy a roadcaster pro. They're a very good piece of, I mean, honestly, like the most important thing for a podcast is the sound. So make sure that you've got like a good way to record yourself audio wise and just do it. That's, you know, just get it started, get it going. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? Mm. So my name is Eric Helwig and I spell it a little weird. It's E-R-I-C-K-H-E-L-L-W-I-G. So you can always find me on social media there. If you want to find the podcast and I've got it on a bunch of different platforms. 
Um, or if you wanted to sign up for my newsletter, you want to see my stand up or any of the other comedy that I do, you can just go to my website, which is erichelwig.com. So the most important thing is just to know how to spell my name, Eric, E-R-I-C-K, Helwig, H-E-L-L-W-I-G. That's how you find me. What other platforms are you on for your podcast? All of them. Um, we're talking Spotify, Apple Podcast, iTunes, uh, Overcast, a Stitcher. It, it actually, when you start a podcast, it doesn't let you join all of the platforms all at once. You have to get a couple episodes in. So I think it was literally maybe three weeks ago, I got a proof for like all of the main podcast um, platforms for my show. So like I said, like it doesn't matter whatever, if you've got an iPhone or an Android or you listen on your computer, there's, there's always a way to listen to it if you just type it into Google. Thank you again, Eric, for your interview and best of luck in your podcast, bringing in the backups. Brandon, same to you, my man. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at talk underscore Brandon, and you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Eric, for your interview, and best of luck in bringing in the backups. You're welcome. Thanks, man. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.